Easy, sir. Easy. What happened to you? Nothing. Had a couple of drinks too many, I guess. Slipped on the seawall. Got a smoke? Is this yours? No. Wouldn't be anyone else down there, would it? What would anybody else be doing down there? Thanks. I was looking for the dock. You're off your course. It's yonder. Say, any ships going north tonight? Well, yeah. The one I'm steward on, the Merman. But you wouldn't want to... Good. I'm sailing on it. The Merman's a bucket. If I were you, I'd take the Southern Queen on Saturday. But I've got to go tonight. You must be in a hurry. I am. The Southern Queen will be your best ship. Any place around here I can change my clothes? There's a spot near the dock. I'll show you. This is the marmot. Where you been, Dawson? I told you to be back at five. I'm sorry, sir. Now, what do you want? Uh, he wants to ship out with us. Get the word. Yes, sir. We got a crew. I'd like to pay for my passage. Well, I'll have to see the captain about that. Where is he? Come on. Sugar. I haven't any cue tonight. Well, they're just yearning for you, baby. You call that yearning? Uh, one last dance for him, honey. Come on, Nita. For me. I tapped my last half. What'll I drink to? You're the one that's leaving. Well, how about freedom? Okay. Freedom. Well, what's that? That's what I've got tonight. Sit down, Marge. I can't. We got a date. Well, bum voyage. See you later. Wait here. He wants to book a passage. Yeah? I think he's one of them. He came aboard with Dawson. Oh, we can't take him. We'll have both of them aboard, and they won't get off. No, no. Do you want to botch this up? I'm bringing them over. What did you say your name was? Beck. Joe Beck. Captain Saul, Mr. Vaughan. Mr. Vaughan is an official of our line. I understand you're sailing tonight. At 10. I'd like to book passage. You anxious to leave town, too? And do you blame him? Well, how about it, Captain? Shall we take him? Show him your good conduct medal. 10 o'clock. You can buy a ticket aboard. Well, as long as you're sailing, why don't you sit down and join the celebration? It's uh, not good, but cold. No, thanks. Well, that's all right. I'll take care of it. Sir. Yeah, I agree with you. It certainly is a tub. Uh, what I wanted to tell you, the dining salon is forward, sir. Thanks, that'll be all.
wrong. It goes like this. Lesson's over. What is it, son? You put kids to sleep with it. That's where I grew up. Oh, uh, now I can thank you for asking me to help you celebrate. You were celebrating. I like you better when you whistle. Even when I whistle wrong? <laughs> you win. You were uh, asking about the celebration? Yeah. Well, somebody gave me a pie with a sword. Threw me a rope. I escaped. And that, the town, the rain, a dirty little cabaret. Did you ever hate a town and have to go on living there? Because you didn't have enough money to get away? Why go there in the first place? Oh, girl does foolish things now and then. Such as? Believing people, trusting them. An agent offers you a hundred a week and your name and lights. So you get on a boat. When you get off, you find out he lied. It was 20 bucks a week. And you beat your heels off for it. But you're stuck. Oh, shut up, Paxson. You'll be crying on the man's shoulder. Go ahead, I don't mind. Some other time. Live there long? Too long. Much too long. Even the stars aren't the same down here. I wouldn't know. I've never seen the stars up there. Well, where you been all your life? Oh, here and there. Mostly here. Maybe I should celebrate. Maybe. I escaped too. Twenty bucks a week, you said. Must have taken you a long time to save passage money out of that. Well, of course, this is a cheap boat. Is that why you're on it? You could have taken the Southern Queen Saturday. Beats us tramp into Galveston by a week. Even beats us into Los Altos. Were you in a hurry to leave St. Angel? Let's say I was. Let's say a thug jumps me from out of nowhere, and let's say I fought back and maybe killed him. Let's say I wanted to get out of there pronto. Didn't really. And let's say I'm sorry. For that crack about the passage money. Now, do you think we can be friends? Maybe. I always figure it's good luck to start up a voyage with a drink. How about it? Good night. the other way. Is it? Yes. Thanks. Your bourbon, sir? What kind of cargo are we carrying? I wouldn't know. I was walking back towards the stern. The mate stopped me. Did he? Yeah. He didn't seem to want me uh, nosing around. We reach Los Altos in three days. You getting off there? Mm -mm. Should I? Well, you could take a bus from Los Altos to Mexico City. And the train. You seem to want me off the boat. Oh, no, sir, no. Only this is a slow ship. Any other reason? Good evening. Never mind that, Dawson. Get me a drink. Yes, sir. Good on board, I see. Everything all right? Yeah, fine. Another drink? No, thanks. <laughs> Come now. Courtesy of the line. Dawson, same for Mr. Beck. Yes, sir. Like the line for me. Friend of yours, Dawson? Him? No, sir. 
I, I never saw him before tonight. We ought to be in Los Altos soon. Well, not until tomorrow morning. some music. I don't want them to get any ideas about her. Huh? Maybe they have already. No. They've got their eye on back. Oh, no. Makes it safer for you. I shouldn't have got you into this. Listen, this is my first chance to pay you off a little for all you've done for me. You know, faith in people is a nice thing to have around. And the little I've got, you gave me. You're a good girl. Think they'll get rough? That's a risk I run. And you too. <laughs> not me, not while Vaughn's around. You're right there. He's so crazy about you, he's blind. <laughs> good thing. Something might happen to me before my job's finished. Oh, nothing's gonna happen. But if it does, I'll finish the job for you. I promise that. That's the least I can do. You think, uh, think Joe, uh, Mr. Beck's in any danger? I tried to keep him off the boat. And I told him to get off when we hit Los Altos. Oh, maybe he will. He seems to be running away from something. I better start lunch. Make it good. I wonder you're alone. I'm usually alone. Not since we left St. Angel. That Beck's always hanging around. Maybe he's lonely. Nita, when are you going to marry me? I haven't said I would yet. Well, I'm asking you again. We'll have money, plenty of it. We won't have to go back to St. Angel. We'll live anywhere, anywhere you say. Do you remember when we met? Yeah. It was spring, and the rain was raining, and, uh, I had another salary cut. Is that all you remember? Isn't that enough? Well, that's the way you feel about it. You take back your offer? Put over. Hello, beautiful. Hello, Joseph. You said you'd be on deck. Well, I said maybe. We like it better here. What's his offer? Come on, let's go up on deck. Lay off. Now, why don't you boys behave? You heard me. All right, I'll lay off when she tells me. If you're smart, you'll stay away from her. Have another drink on me. No wind back here. 
Finish your game? No, I quit. He plays too rough. He's the wrong guy, Anita. How about you? Let's worry about him. He acts like he's got a claim check on you. Look, I can find my way through the woods. When you get lost, it's nice to have a little bird to cover you with leaves. <laughs> I won't get lost. Nice green leaves. Being kissed is very nice, but it's one of those things a girl can get along without. If a girl wants to. If a girl wants to. A girl can change her mind. Need it. I'm not lost yet. Hurt, sir. You bet I'm hurt. Somebody tried to kill me. Come on, what were you driving at the other evening? I don't know what you mean. Spit it out. You were warning me about something. What was it? I said, all I said was... You said, get off at Los Altos and take the bus to Mexico City. That's what you said. Come on, what's happening on this tub? You know. I don't know anything. If you don't tell me what you know, I'll... Please, please. You've been scared ever since we left St. Angel. Who of? Get off this ship. That's all I can tell you. Oh, no, that's not all. Who's trying to kill me? Shut up. There you are, sir. That'll fix you up. Feel better? Some. Mr. Beck nearly got himself killed, Dawson. Better get him something for that cut. Thanks. Will you join me? I'd like to, but I gotta report your accidents to Captain. Don't stick your neck out. I'm running the ship. Tell you, this is no time to do it. You ain't running anything. You ain't backing out. You're in too deep now. He knows we're around to him. What of him? It isn't going to be easy. Let's wait. Next trip. There won't be any next trip. What have you decided to do? Get rid of him. Fix it so the Mexican cops take care of Bay. No, it isn't going to work. It's, it's too smart. Don't worry about that. Vaughn's gal's got him dopey. He won't know what happened to him. Where have you been all day? Here. I had some thinking to do. So did I. This afternoon, when I followed you up on deck, why did you go all the way to the stern? Why? Well, I told you to get out of the wind. And I hope that's the right answer. Oh, what do you mean, the right answer? A bunch of oil drums on the hatch. Somebody tried to drop them on me. No. Yeah. 
And it wasn't an accident. So you see, I... Yes. I see. I see plenty. Now, wait a minute. You better do a lot more thinking. Nita, I know you have a right to be sore. But can you blame me for wanting to make sure of you? Somebody tried to knock me off. I don't know why. In my spot, wouldn't you do some thinking about you? Like a little bouillon? Yeah, thanks. Uh, want anything before I go? No, thanks. That'll be all. Cigarette? I'm confused, Nita. But not as confused as I was. Scared? Yes. But not as scared as I was. I'm sure of two people. Two? You and Dawson. Oh, he's on my side, too. I don't know why, but I'm gonna find out. And in the meantime, deal the cards and let's forget this business for a while. Well, come on, deal. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty-nine, minus four. Blitzed again. Your mind's not on the game, Nita. Dawson's been gone an hour. Yeah, you're right. Well, that must be him now. Hello, Nita. Where's Dawson? I'd like a sandwich. He went out over an hour ago. Yeah, somebody buzzed for him, wasn't it you? No. How about you? Like something to eat? Not now. I'll be back in a moment. Where are you going? I just thought of something. did it in my cabin. I had to get him out of there. Oh, Joe. Somebody's framing me for something. I'll go on back to the bar and act as if nothing happened. Go on, deal me a hand. I'll be right down. Dawson isn't around. You steward, huh? My deal, isn't it? I wonder where the devil that steward is. I saw him up on deck a minute ago, by the rail. Oh, he's lazy. I hate to mix my own drinks. Find him? Find who? Dawson. 
Weren't you looking for him? We've looked all over the ship. He, he must have fell overboard. Just dropped anchor. Are you ready? We'll go to the police about Dawson. What's the use? They'll just say you fell overboard. Yeah, I guess you're right. You're not packed. Oh, I'll go ashore with you, but I'm coming back. After what happened last night? We can't stay on this old tub. We'll have to take a bus. No, Joe, I've got to stay. Please don't ask why. Is it Vaughn? I should walk out on you for that. Any other time I would, but not today. Please, no more arguments. We'll have a whole day together in Los Altos. Well, let's leave this here. Tonight, when you bring it back, you can pick it up. And you can stand on the pier and wave. And I'll stand at the rail and wave back. Oh, come on, before I get sentimental. Where, muchacho? To the beach, the little one where the lovers go. I know the way, too. You have been in Los Altos before, then? See, si, I have been here before. No turista? No turista. My brother, he has a band. All oh, very little ones. They play and they play and they do not watch. <laughs> All right, you win. How much? For you, ten pesos. All right, to the beach. Half an hour. Now run. Senorita, we have no brothers that play. Well, we do now. Watch. For each, a taco. Gracias. So slow I cook them. Come on, darling. Lovely day, darling. Now it's ending. You're coming with me. No. It isn't as though we won't see each other again. You'll be at the pier in Galveston waiting. You can't go back to the boat. I won't let you go. I must. Two weeks isn't so long. I'll miss you. Night, I'll miss you most. I'll stand at the rail and hunt for lost stars. There'll be footsteps, and I'll look around. It won't be you. And then I'll go to my cabin. I'll forget for a moment that you are just beyond the wall. And I'll lift the lid from the powder box and play the little song for you. Nita. Every night, I'll play the little song for you anyway. And you'll listen, won't you, darling? Nita, wait. I'll be right back. Nita, you've got to come with me. Then ask me not to go. I won't ask. Your eyes are asking. I'll make them stop. No, Nita. I'm going back to the boat and I'm not getting off.
Dinner, Miss Paxton? Thank you, Mr. Beck. I'm going down to that contraption they call a shower. 30 minutes? No longer, Mr. Beck. I'll be waiting in the dining room. Here he is. We have company. Mr. Bergstrom, Mr. Beck. Mr. Bergstrom came in last night on the Southern Queen. Oh, he did, huh? Mr. Beck, eh? That's odd. <laughs> this is also Mr. Beck. Mr. Joseph Beck. You shake his hand for me. An amusing fellow, isn't he? Come in. Well, congratulations. You should get a medal. I'll miss you. But I'll miss you most at night, and so on. Wonderful. You played me like a trout. Switch on the lights. It's all too dark for me. Are all of you in this? The whole boat? Am I that important? What are you talking about? You did a good job. You kept me on the boat. I kept you on the boat. All right, I kept myself aboard. I'm a big boy now. I've had women say pretty things to me before. I should have known better. I can't make you out at all. Get out of here. First, let's get all your pals in here and have this thing out. I'm not going to get what Dawson got. You don't make any sense. You did get me on the boat, didn't you? Maybe. Maybe I wanted you to stay because I liked you. Me or a piece of 200,000 bucks. Maybe I wanted you to stay because I was afraid and I needed someone I could rely on. I guess I picked the wrong number. Now you're talking in riddles. Oh, am I? Dawson was the best friend I ever had. I met him the first month I was in St. Angel. He pulled me through the worst time I've ever known. Well, look, you don't have... He to. wasn't just a steward. He was an investigator for an insurance company. Saul and Vaughn and Harris lost a couple of heavily insured ships, and it didn't look right. Dawson figured the merman was next. You mean you and he were... Working together. Vaughn liked me, and... Well, we figured he might give himself away. Dawson got me a ticket. I thought I could help him. Now he's gone, and I'm going to finish his job for him. Look, Nita, I'm sorry. But it did look like a frame-up. Well, now you know. Nita! Come in, Mr. Beck, and keep your hands out of your pockets. Boys are very untidy. Sorry, we'll have it all cleaned up for you later. Thank you. Where is it? The envelope. You mean you didn't find it? No, not yet. Now let's not waste any more time. Give us the envelope, or... I guess you've got me where you want me, Bergstrom. Now, if you'd have only been a little more thorough in your search, you'd have found it right here. Take it easy, pal, or your chum will get scattered all over the floor. Drop it. Drop it. Don't. You know I abhor violence. Good thing to remember. Now sit down. You too. Hey, go ahead. Humor him. He's a precipitous fellow. Well, gentlemen, shall we get on to cases? Who's your friend? I introduced you. Cut out the comedy. What's your name? Beck. What's the matter? Can't he talk? Or I can talk. Now, patience, lad. You mustn't get excited. No, we mustn't. Or somebody might get their ears knocked off. I like your attitude, sir. I do. A realist, if I ever saw one. The type of man you can deal with. You're wrong. No deals. Come on, get up. Get this and get it straight. There's only one Joe Beck going to show up in Trusk's office in Galveston, and that's the real one. Naturally, the real one, of course. I'm putting up with you boys because we're all in the same boat. But one more of your little tricks and... Well put, sir. We're in perfect accord. I don't know why I bother taking this away from you. You haven't the envelope, and if you'd used it on me, nobody'd get the dough. You're magnificent, sir.
Get out of here. You're heading for the rocks. Let go of that. Get out. Now turn that wheel and head back to the sea lanes. You know what this means, Beck? Cut it out. I know your whole layout. You and your pals and the insurance racket. Follow where she is. What are you going to do with them? Take them down to his cabin. Let him go down with the ship. in the other boat. Yes, and we're fighting. A boat dropped from the damage and smashed. They drowned? <laughs> you didn't get away either. That galley was well stocked. We'll drown before we starve. It's got the air sauce, potted tongue, caviar, Although what we'll put it on, I don't know. Ah, uh, sir, you're a card. That I am. Facing death with a morsel of pickled pig's feet on my lips. How's the head? Never mind the pig's feet and the head. What's it like below? A trifle damp. Well, by the way, what are we going to call you? We can't call you Beck. It's too confusing. Zamano. Mike Zamano. Damp, you say? How damp? Some of the reef is inside, and a lot of the Atlantic. Nothing serious? Oh, no, just a hole the size of this room. But the water can run out as well as in. Sir, you're magnificent. Always ready with a quip and a jest. There's no immediate uh, danger. I'm getting out of here. You better be a good swimmer. We're miles out to sea. They'll send help. I'm sure they will. Willie, after running this tub on the rocks? I, uh, that's murder. Well, that sounds very good coming from you. Why don't you relax, Mike, and listen to the music? How long can we last, Joe? Let's not talk about that, honey. Well, shall we enjoy the flesh pots while we may? Sir, do you realize what this proves? The uselessness of greed. That's what it proves. I speak of myself, sir, and the lad yonder. Ready to do you in for a few paltry dollars. What profit to the man if he loses his soul and gains the world? Why didn't you think of that last week? Scared, honey. Last week I was covetous. Nothing like a shipwreck to change a man's sense of values. Why, sir, I'd willingly... Willingly give my share in the back estate for a good deal. What share? <laughs> my mistake. My glad we failed. But what a magnificent failure. Look what it gave us. We have our souls again. Uh, 
You look. Now, lad, no bitterness. I'm not blaming you. How could I know you were no match for Mr. Beck? Mike's reputation confused me. There's a man, they said, handy with a knife or a gun or a bit of gas pipe. No scruples, they said. Kill his mother for a dollar. That's a lie. Forgive me, lad, two dollars. You gab too much like an old woman. Don't stop him. We underestimated you, Mike and I. Like I said, there's a man named Beck coming in, a dog fellow. You're a dog fellow, lad. The attorneys in Galveston won't know the difference. So we'll do away with him, and you'll be Beck, and we'll both be rich. Oh, if I hadn't fell on that rock. Fallen, lad, fallen. It was unfortunate. Indeed it was. But for that rock, we would be sailing into Galveston on the Southern Queen. Well, you, sir? You'd be in the morgue in St. Angel. <laughs> Shall we call it fate? I'm not going to stay here and listen to you guys. Maybe they'll fall overboard. It'll serve them right. You don't think I'm working with them? You were right about one thing. I did want you to stay on the boat. I'm glad I stayed. Well, I had to finish the job for Dawson, even if it meant hurting you. You will forgive me, won't you? There's nothing to forgive. You know, I was wondering what I was going to do with all that dough when I got it. Now that I know, I, I guess I'll never see it. Well, are you busy little bees at it again? Yes. Futile, isn't it? You've hidden the envelope well. Now, what would you do if you had it? Hand it to St. Peter and say, this, sir, will prove that my client is Joseph Beck. And that man, sir, is an imposter. It does seem rather foolish, doesn't it? Did you think I was fool enough to carry it with me? You don't have it? Of course not. Now that none of us will ever see it, I can tell you how stupid you were. I mailed it to myself in Galveston. It should be there right now, lying nice and cozy in a general delivery pigeonhole. Magnificent. Lad, we underestimated him again. We should have... Shut up, will you? Listen. An aeroplane. It's so great. Oh, let's do something. Here! Let's see if I can find some rockets. Well, you tried. If there'd only been one rocket, they thought of everything, didn't they? Maybe the, the plane. Do you think it was looking for us? I don't know. It might have been on routine patrol. What if it wasn't? Mm, they couldn't see what's through this for. Well, we're still together. that time. She'll be breaking up soon. You think we ought to go down and keep the boys company? You want to? No. If we're gonna drown. Let's be exclusive. Interrumpimos el programa de música para dar a nuestros lectores una importante noticia. Wait. La estación de guardacostas anuncia que uno de sus aeroplanos de patrulla avistó a un vapor embarrancado en los arrecifes a 200 millas al sureste de Tampico. Hidroaeroplanos han sido despachados al lugar del siniestro para que proceda a la búsqueda de los supervivientes. What do you say? They saw us. They're sending seaplanes. What are you going to do? We've been below. On a raft. A beautiful rubber raft, big enough for four. So we leave the girl here and we take Mr. Beck into the hole to help us with the raft. Oh, no, no, 
Well, that's no good. If we shoot him, they'll find out. Right, lad. Right you are. Got it. He goes first. He trips. It's a long drop into the hole. We go down and hold his head underwater. Anybody could drown by accident. It's down there. Let's finish him. Just turn his face down. Joe, they're here, the plane. Come, lad, through the other hatch, quickly. Maybe he ain't finished yet. Come, lad. The plane, Joe, they're here. <laughs> Joe! Joe! Oh, senor, I know. What's this? Hospital. Yes, I know, but where? Tampico. If you lie down, please. You're sick. Tampico? How'd I get here? By airplane. When? Three days ago, the senorita, she come too. Where is she? She go away. To Galveston, I think. Do you lie down, please, the doctor said. Never mind the doctor. Was anyone with her? Two men and the officer from the airplane. The little one, he was always laughing. Did she leave with them? Who knows? So much excitement. The ship. Then they find you and the girl and the two men. And the lifeboat. They find it, too. And the captain. Jail. Too bad for the captain. He makes the ship wreck itself. The girl, did she leave any message? Message? Yes, did she say anything? I don't know. She speak to the doctor. I did not hear it. Get the doctor. Oh, mañana. Today, little boy sick. He go to see him. You lie down, please. The girl, she's not worth it. Maybe she is and maybe she isn't. But I'm going to find out. Oh, but you can't. Senorita, you want me to lose $200,000? Oh, no, senor, no. Then I'm getting out of here and in a hurry. But no, please. Please, senor. No. Expecting a letter, sister? My name ain't sister, it's Sally. <laughs> well, I like sister better. I guess that's it. Thank you very much. Come along, Sally. Bye, Sally. Bye. Cute, ain't she? You mind? I'm in a hurry. Mm, hold your horses, brother. Hold your horses. See if you've got anything for Joseph G. Beck. You say Beck? Yeah, Beck. Got you. Look again, there has to be one. Well, there ain't. You here all the time? Mostly. Did anyone else get a letter from Beck? Bud, do you know how many people come in here every day? Maybe a girl picked it up in the past couple of days, or two men. Try and remember. I'm not a quiz kid, Bud. A big brown envelope from Honduras. Hmm. You worry that bone, don't you? Oh, wait a minute, Chick. Come to think of it, yes, there was a letter. A big fat one, and a girl. A uh, fat letter, not girl. Uh, yesterday she got it. Sure. Oh, but that was just a general delivery. Anybody can... Uh... Hello, Pan Pacific. I want to speak to the manager. I'm trying to locate Miss Nita Paxton. Yeah, she was the girl on the Merman. Thanks. Sit still. Take a peek, lad. Let him ring, it won't be anybody. Perhaps not, but look anyway.
guys trying to get in, that's all. Oh, come on, we know you have it. We seen you leave the post office. I was mailing a letter to my mother. Who oh, was you now? Visions, lad, visions. My dear, you know my reputation. <laughs> Always fair. Afraid to let me see who's out there? Okay, have it your own way. Satisfied? Hmm? She just saw the rear end of a cab. Come on, turn on the heat and let's get going. You want money? What for? Mr. Beck's letter. I haven't got the letter. <laughs> she hasn't got it. My dear Miss Paxton, of course you have. It's no good to you. Now, the three of us could... Would uh, $10,000 intrigue you? $10,000 would intrigue anyone. But you haven't got the 10000 And I haven't got the letter. Falsehoods. I abhor them. Never you mind about the money. We'll get it, ma'am. We'll get it. But we need the... Uh, come now, no more nonsense. Anita. Anita. Just a moment more, lad, and he'll be gone. When might permits, you will talk, eh? We're not getting anywhere. Let me handle her. Come on, where is it? Now, lad, don't hurt the little lady. Spit it out. Quaint tune. My mother used to sing it to me. She was sweet. Could you like me, really? Such a large box, isn't it? Pretty, eh, Mike? Shut it off. Lad, lad, another flaw in your character. No sentiment. Lilac. My mother used it, too. But such a large box, Miss Paxton. One could put other things than powder in it, eh? <laughs> Imagine that. The very letter itself. Mike! Joe. Joe, darling. Oh, I hated to leave you there in the hospital, but I had to get here before them. Let's get on with it. Police department, please. Attorney Daniel Bergstrom speaking. Right, Bergstrom. Send some men to the Shane Apartments, 1430 Pine Street. I'm sorry, but we just shot a man. Self-defense, naturally. He was shooting at us. That ends it, sir. He'll be here forthwith. Wait just a minute. Hand it over. Why, of course, sir, of course. You didn't think uh, excitement slipped my mind. There you are. I'll intrude no longer. Oh, you're not intruding. Sit down. <laughs> you're incredible, Mr. Beck, incredible. A man of infinite resourcefulness. Just make yourself comfortable until the police arrive. You know, you had me pretty badly worried for a moment. I know. Once you said a kiss was something a girl could get along without. A girl can change your mind. If a girl wants to. A girl wants to. Pardon me. Ah, oh, love. If I had had the love of a good woman, I might have been a better man. <laughs> 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 